I would describe Ian Packer as a incubus. An incubus is a, a demonic creature who sucks the life and sucks the energy out of people, um, out of the room, out of situations. He just sucks the energy. He's, he's a horrible, horrible human being. I can't imagine anybody would have anything nice to say about him. That's how I would say he was an incubus. So the police came to you in the mid-2000s during the Emma Caldwell murder inquiry. Straight away, did you think that he was guilty of that murder? Yes, I did, because there was... Um, because he raped me, he um, abused me, and, and this was something that he could have been involved in. I felt that he was involved. I felt that this was something that um, he could do. Did you think that he was capable of doing? Yes, absolutely. He was definitely capable of murder. Mm -hmm. When did you find out about all the, the women and the, the sex workers? And the, was that only very recently? There were so many women. No, because I knew that he went out to see prostitutes because I heard that from one of my family members. Okay. Um, and I found out that information. It was a, an attempted rape. Okay. Um, I was at his parents' house um, with a family member. And in the evening, he asked me to come into the living room of his parents' house. And he threw me to the floor and then he tried to remove my clothes. And it was, a, it was an attempt to drape on, on that night. The, there was a Halloween party um, within the housing office across the road from my house and um, he uh, came into my house. Um, I was in my bedroom. I was uh, a child. I was 15 years old and um, he came into my room. I didn't want him to come into my room and he said to me that um, would, would I like to be his girlfriend. I had no interest in being his girlfriend and then he said he would needed to try me out first and he immediately came on top of me and raped me. What do you think of the police and the justice system and their behaviour towards you? Well, I think that they ignored their duty of care and I think they ignored their obligations under the, the law and they should have investigated this crime for multiple reasons because they have to by law but also to prevent anybody else being assaulted and attacked by this man. But they didn't. So they've allowed this window or this period here where this man can basically get away with it and attack and assault other people. When the police interviewed you, uh, and this was in maybe around about 2005, six time during yes. the Emma inquiry, did they come back to see you again? They interviewed me um, in 2000, just after the, when they were investigating the Emma Caldwell murder, um, back in 2005-2006, and they came back in 2015. Okay. But in between, from the, the beginning of the Emma Caldwell murder inquiry until 2015, did you hear from the police at all? No, I did get told that as it was um, a crime, a sexual assault crime, and I, I um, reported this crime. They keep me updated about this crime, but they never get me updated about the crime. So you had to wait around about nine years until 2015 for them to come back and see you? Yes. And that was only because of media pressure? Only because of media pressure, yes, that's right. So my view of the police is that they, they didn't protect the public. They knew what was going on. They certainly had my statement, other people's statement. They had multiple pieces of evidence there, but they refused to look at it. So they allowed other people to be attacked. So my view of the police is that uh, they, they committed an offence, they committed a crime, and those crimes must be investigated. Not only that, the Crown are aware of these crimes that the police committed um, what have the Crown done about that? Wh where's the investigation into this? So I believe that it should be investigated, both the police and the Crown, because they're aware and turned a blind eye to this um, man who would commit sexual offences on people, 
turned a blind eye to this? Why have they done that? Why was that allowed? Who committed offences within the police? Who committed offences within the Crown? And who allowed that to happen? They've allowed this paedophile to, to attack other people.